Good morning and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley and we are on the Tesla road trip with my very good friend and headshot photographer extraordinaire. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early for John. Um, what we are doing is it is 6.44 a.m. and we are going to go and show you what the level of battery is like in the car. Uh, up here, sorry. It's 411, so it's not full. Uh, but we are going, our first stop is going to be a supercharger and as you can see from the thumbnail they're all going to be superchargers so there is no surprise here today. Uh, on the day myself and John will be winding people up. Uh, to I'm going to be winding him up. <laughs> We're not going to Mayo because the only supercharger they have in Mayo is a treadmill with a goat on it. <laughs> For any of my international audience <clears throat> the uh, Mayo is where the county where I'm from, it's the best county in Ireland. Um, he, I, and I just cut him out, he doesn't realise what the editing is going to be like. <laughs> so we are heading off to the first supercharger of two on the M1 uh, and we're going to set up um, the dash cam etc like that once we get there but we just want to get on the road. We've got a long day ahead of us because we are going to hit all of the five superchargers that are currently in Ireland at the moment. John, any parting words? Are we still here? <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by EasyGo. As well as being Ireland's largest EV charging network, EasyGo supports over 10,000 Irish EV drivers to find and use more than 1,200 charge points active on the EasyGo app. This works across the island of Ireland, north and south. The team at EasyGo also provide home, workplace and public chargers together with fleet management and payment service solutions, ideal for businesses transitioning their fleets to electric vehicle driving. Here we are, stop number one. John is still with me. Uh, this is Castle, Benning, Castle Bellingham northbound. Derek doesn't make mistakes in videos, <laughs> so we leave it in. Castle Bellingham northbound, uh, location known as White Rat on the Tesla Supercharger website. We have eight supercharger stalls here, uh, and these have type um, two CCS, and sorry, type two and CCS and it has a max capacity of 150 kilowatt delivery. It is the same as all the other superchargers except for the Cork one. We are um, going to go across the motorway so that we can have a look at the other st uh, super supercharger stand, um, same as this, but just we want to say we're there. Um, it has all the amenities as well, so it has Subway, Apple Green, uh, Burger King, Burger King, uh, and toilets. a big, well, Costa toilets, all that. Uh, John is taking over for the next part. We are heading down towards Limerick. We are heading towards Limerick. Does this mean now because this thing doesn't make any noise, I have to go? Nah, nah, nah. This is my day now. This is what I have to put up with. <laughs> we are going to uh, Bird Hill Supercharger uh, on the way to Limerick in Tipperary in Cool Derry. Uh, similar setup to here. But next stop, first of all, is the southbound of the Castle Bellingham. Supercharger station number two, Castle Bellingham southbound, White Wrath again, eight stalls. Eight stalls. John is driving now until we get to Bird Hill. So what is the distance between here and Bird Hill? We're at 502 kilometers and we're going to go Bird Hill Supercharger. Bum 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 bum. Oh, Jenny Mike. 400 meters to the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> 250 kilometers, two and a half hour driving. John is the lucky person that's going to go driving. We should probably mention when you're reversing this thing, it makes a spaceship noise and it goes, woo like a little alien it's kind of cool That's um the update <laughs> i'm not sure i'm totally in love with it but <laughs> then again it is really cool uh we'll get a sound clip of that at some stage throughout the day but we're going to be two and a half hours now on the road going down there and we're going to arrive with 25 percent battery left but we've told it that it's a, going to be going to a supercharger so it will be preconditioning as we go along uh, that is supercharger stop number three. Then we're going to go Cork to the new one. Although it is saying that it is reduced to service, but we'll figure that out. And then we'll come back up again to the last one. Stay tuned. It's 
If you think this car is for you, you can contact EasyGo and register for the app by clicking the link on the screen or in the description. We are at Supercharger number three here at Bird Hill in Tipperary uh, on our super Supercharger road trip. Uh, this is a, it says six stall on the website, but it's actually eight stalls. Uh, maximum is 150 kilowatt, like all the Irish ones, except for the new Cork one. It has a charger coming soon down there uh, and it has type two and it has CCS. Um, so it is also at the back or built up beside an apple green uh, that has Burger King, Costa, the usual apple green fare that's inside there. So this is the M7 on the way down to Limerick. We got here eventually, John was driving. Um, interesting route taken, but we got here eventually. Uh, we'll save that for the outcuts. Uh, I'm gonna take the next leg. We're gonna go from here to Cork and John's gonna take the leg after that and I'll bring us home. So beautiful weather. I'm gonna probably have to take the sweatshirt off. I've got a t-shirt in the back of the car, branded. He's trying to get his boobs out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're after having something nice and sweet there to keep us going until we get lunch in Cork. So next stop is a new, brand new Cork supercharger site. Right, so we're on the next leg of the journey. I did the last bit of driving all the way from Castle Bellingham in County Loud down to Bird Hill in Tipperary. And if you've seen my Instagram stories, I did say that we were in Limerick, but we're not. Um, I've been totally lost in myself driving with the amazing experience and the crack of uh, driving the Tesla. But um, yeah, my driving experience of the Tesla, what did I feel and what did I think of it? I thought it was amazing. At the start, it was a little bit weird with the car doing the steering and taking over and uh, I don't think my heart rate was ready for it but it was really cool and very very quickly it just became the norm then one thing that we did notice is that changing lanes when you have the full self driving on yeah well I had noticed if you try to turn it back on after changing lanes too early that you're not fully in the lane it will try to pull you back into the middle of the lane as if you have made a mistake and not only that if you are across both of the lines. <laughs> He's gonna bleep this out so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> um, beep. But uh, yeah, once you're changing lanes, if you do switch the autopilot on too early, then it does try to drag you back into lane or will start beeping and giving you all sorts of warnings and stuff. But um, all in all, I love this car. I love this car and it goes like stink and this is the long range amazing supercharger stop number four for four or five and we're here in Cork at the new supercharger site this is the only one in the country that have the capability of up to 250 kilowatts uh, and we're also here and joined by EV Charging Network from Ireland, easygo.ie, channel sponsor as always. Um, that this, wasn't planned. That wasn't planned. Um, so really happy with this uh, going so far. One more to go. John, any questions? Have I any questions? Uh, Vivian, can we have one? <laughs> John is mad to get one and that was a message request especially for his wife so uh, on to the right. last <laughs> <laughs> on to the last supercharger of the day John has taken it from here to there so we'll talk to you in a bit Last service station of the day, Balakula is the location. Supercharger number five, and it is, the actual name is Manor Stone Service Station in County Leash. John is actually gonna take us all the way back up to Dublin. John, any final words? Uh, other than the out of farming down here, this place is absolutely gorgeous. What a sunny day, and this thing is, yeah. I will never drive happily, never happily drive, let's say that, a uh, diesel car again. Lovely. Another one converted. This is an eight station um, supercharger that has type two and CCS. 
maximum it's saying on the Tesla website is 150 kilowatt hours, sorry, 150 kilowatts um, per stand. So I'm not sure what we're getting there now, kilowatt wise, we'll have a look. We are getting 30 kilowatts, but we're nearly full. We're at nearly 500. Um, beautiful location, great end of the day. Hopefully you've enjoyed the road trip. If you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thanks so much for watching. For those of you looking for a bit more details, the total journey was 727 kilometers from my house to the five superchargers and back again. Uh, Google Maps was giving me a, range, a time of eight hours and 15 minutes. It took us 10 hours, 45 minutes. So there was two and a half hours there of stopping, eating, charging, going to restrooms, etc. We were driving a Tesla Model 3 long range, dual motor. Uh, we think it was the one with the LG pack rather than the newer Panasonic pack and that has a usable battery of 70 kilowatt hours and it has a WLTP of 580 kilometers, but we were getting probably closer to 500 kilometers. Just a reminder that today's video was sponsored by EasyGo, who are now offering a year's free driving when EasyGo installs a charger at your home or business. For more info or to submit for a quote, click the link on the screen or in the description. Uh, just a button to put, yeah.